with a campaign ad getting the attention of lawyers today, an ad that candidate Dennis Kucinich has mailed to voters. Brandon Simmons explains. Nothing says Cleveland like the sign itself, a symbol that many are proud of, snapping photos in front of the large script logo scattered around town near popular landmarks. But this is the version many will see in the mail over the next few days, covered with blood and bullet holes. The image that matches the mailing is actually where Cleveland is at right now. We're, we're bleeding out as a city. 39 shootings in a single weekend. Does that mean anything to anyone? Dennis Kucinich, who is running for mayor, is the man behind it, arguing the city needs to do more about the rise in violence and its impact on the city's future. Who's going to want to move to Cleveland? What businesses will want to stay here? How will we be able to attract people to our city? Crime is on the rise in the city. Felony assaults are up 23 percent year to date compared to last year, and homicides are up 31 percent during the same time period, with 80 people killed through June 26th. It's an issue that's top of mind for all mayoral candidates and the main topic of discussion during a public forum they participated in last week. But even with data to back up the rise in crime, many question Kucinich's choice to use what is typically a positive representation of Cleveland to send his message. David Gilbert, president and CEO of Destination Cleveland, which trademarked the logo, released a statement. It reads in part, since its introduction in 2014, the Cleveland script logo has become a symbol of immense pride for the Cleveland community. The organization also sent a cease and desist letter to Kucinich and his election committee to stop using the modified image. But Kucinich isn't backing down. Well, they ought to just stay out of politics, but they need to consult with their First Amendment attorneys who will tell them that the message that we sent out was protected by the First Amendment. Now, even if it is protected by the First Amendment, a lot of people still just wondering why take a positive image and use it to uh, promote something that's so negative that happens in our city. Again, uh, Destination Cleveland just kind of reached out and said, what we're going to do is take all of the positive images, the thousands of them that people take in front of the Cleveland script signs and continue to post them uh, in a positive way, Russ. Okay, Brandon Simmons, thank you.